What's going on guys, it is Gorilla here and I'm here today with another episode of Road to a Champion. As you can see on the screen, we are 30 wins with one loss with 9 games to, uh, to go. So I'm going to go show you the last 9 games we did play and hopefully uh, we can end the uh, weekend with a 39-1 and ratio. So we're going to show you the clips of all the games now and the teams we've come up against. But before we do get into the video guys, if you want any cheap Xbox Live or PSN codes, the link will be down below to G2A. So make sure you go and check that out. So, that's my record. 30 uh, wins, 1 loss, and this is my team. So we're starting off with a different team, obviously with the three maximum uh, nationalities. We have Butland in goal, Kyle Walker, Chris Morning, Blanc, Kazawa. And then we have Vieira, Pogba with a silver French player, um, Ronaldo Griezmann, and a bronze French player. I bet you're wondering, why am I using a bronze and silver player? Purely so I can bring on Hullet and George Best, and um, sub them on from the get-go, press start, switch formation, and bring them on. Um, obviously they get six and a half chemistry apparently, but they feel normal to me. So, um, yeah, that's why. So I sub them on and, uh, yeah, get hood it and best without, um, overdoing the requirements. So this is the first team we've come up against. He actually has a blue Sidibe, if I remember correctly. That is Sidibe. Um, not the best of teams. Obviously in foot champions, you want to come up against the worst teams, obviously for the easier games. But, you know, come up against people that actually have really good teams that you'll see in this ep uh, in this episode. You'll actually probably be able to uh, tell by the title who we, who we do come up against. So, um, look forward to that. It was uh, it was interesting playing against that player, but we'll see towards the end of the video. Um, yeah, we go one up. My opponent goes down the other end and equalizes, but I don't think he should have scored that. I tried to cut the angle off so he couldn't couldn't get the shot away. Uh, it wasn't to be. He got it away with Lacazette and uh, he uh, smashed it into the top corner and he made it one one. But um, I think that was George Best, if I remember correctly. He goes down, and uh, we get a two-one lead. But I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about the servers this weekend. I don't know if it was just, well, I know for a fact it wasn't just me actually. The servers this weekend were absolutely atrocious. Like it wasn't even funny. It wasn't even fair. You know, nobody, nobody could even string a pass together properly without having some kind of issue. So I don't know. Hopefully EA can fix it. I'm putting my money on, they won't. Um, it was the same kind of last year with inconsistent gameplay. And that is kind of what it is now, but it's just shit gameplay, basically. It's just not playable. It's not fun to play. And obviously with foot champions, you've got to play 40 games in a row over the, uh, over the weekend period. It's just not... Obviously, foot champions isn't necessarily fun to play, but, you know, you want a bit of some excitement to play the game rather than, oh, it's a bit of a chore going into it with rubbish gameplay. And that's basically what it was. It's been, it's, it has been like that for the past few weeks, I'd say. I remember the start of FIFA. The gameplay was different um, in foot champions to divisions games, um, but I don't mind that. If it's if it's different, that's fine. But I, when it's different, I don't want it to be unplayable. Different. Like this is just, this is just next level, just unplayable. So hopefully, EA do fix it. Like I said, I don't think they will, um, just because it's EA, and um, they'll just ride it out for the for the year. Um, let people open packs and uh, get their money and on to next FIFA. That's normally how it goes, isn't it? So, I don't know. I'm not holding my breath for them to fix it. But with everybody, and I mean everybody complaining, I don't know if it's a PlayStation thing either. It'll be interesting to see, actually. If you're watching this video and you're on PlayStation, you play for Champions this weekend, let me know in the comments. Just say PS4 um, and then just put PS4 at the start of the comment and then write what happened. So, in terms of the of the uh, the gameplay, was it smooth? Was it lagging? Was it unplayable? Was it delayed? Delayed is the issue I think a lot of people had this um, this weekend. In terms of you pass the ball, takes an extra like second, an extra touch, or an extra few touches. It's just you know you want to be able to play a game when you press a button, it does that action. Um, so let me know in the comments. I'm actually intrigued to see if it's just an Xbox thing or if it's actually um, on both platforms. So heading into our next game. He actually has Griezmann at top, so he obviously knows what he's doing. Probably one of the best strikers on the game, in my opinion. And a lot of people I talk to don't like Griezmann, just because he gets caught up so easily. Um, I don't know. I agree with him that he does get caught up a bit too easy, but his finishing makes up for it. And, you know, you can't really complain when he's finishing left, right, and centre. I just wanted to show you the replay of this goal. I smashed the ball, and look at Butland. He's just diving the opposite way. So that was, a, that was an interesting goal, but... Um, yeah, straight from kickoff, though, he's running at me with Griezmann, and we actually tackle him. We go down um, the other end where we attempt to anyway. Uh, he gets the ball back off us. We get the ball back off him, 
Uh, it's like a ping pong match at this rate. Uh, I mean, then he intercepts the ball again on the halfway line. And then we get it. And then he gets it back. And then he passes the ball to uh, Griezmann on the right hand side. He does a heel to heel chop. Um, does a Berber spin. Finesse shot into the corner. 1 1. Shouldn't have conceded that type of goal, but it happened. Um, you know, just got to get on with it. But no, I find it annoying. Conceding rubbish goals. You know, when you work for your goals and they're like decent goals in extent, and then your opponent's going to get goals like that, it's 2 1. And uh, yeah, your back's up against the wall, really, and you've got to try and um, change formation, change tactic or something. You know, when it's not clicking, when you're drawing at half time, when I'm drawing at half time, I look at the game and think, should I be leading? If I don't think I should be leading, then I switch formation. But if I do think I'm leading, I stick with the formation like I did in this instance, and Pogba gets us back into the game. And uh, yeah, we just stick it out. Obviously, we come off, bal uh, off defensive to go balanced, to get a bit more. Um, bit more players upfield and give us uh, more opportunities in the attacking front. But, yeah, we bring it back to 3-2. 66th minute, uh, Ronaldo's through, does a heel-to-heel -heel chop, plays it into Neymar. Neymar turns and um, finishes it in, and it finishes 4-2. Look at the amount of shots we had. 19 shots to 4. That's quite bad considering um, we actually had 19 shots and 4 goals. So, the finishing wasn't really on point that game. But we take the win. 4-2 win. And we head into our next game. We actually have the 4-2 and arrow with Pogba, Dembele, Rooney at camp. We were a decent team, actually, with Pogba, obviously, uh, in the midfield. But we had a nice little through ball into Pogba, actually, talking about him. He threw, finished shot into the right-hand side of the net. And uh, we opened a scoreline to make it 1-0 for us. And then down, uh, in the 18th minute, down the right-hand side, George Best, bombing forward, does a scoop turn with Ronaldo, shields the player back to Best. Best plays into Hullet, Hullet to Pogba, and what a goal that was. A nice bit of passing play from myself there. And, uh, yeah, we take the two-goal cushion, which is uh, which is what we wanted. Nice little ball to get the angle a bit. Plays into Best, Best to Ronaldo, and then basically an open goal. And this guy actually does back out. Three goals uh, after three shots. Can't complain. So, heading into the next game, then. We come up against Moneymaker, five at the back. Um, he has Leighton Baines, Luke Short, centre-back, which is always an interesting one. Uh, Koscielny, Smalling, Walker, Kante, Rooney, Lukaku, and I think he had Sterling up front then, if I uh, if I saw that correctly. Um, but yeah, so we had to switch to five at the back purely because I've really lost to a five at the back on stream. And I said, in future, if I play against five at the back, I'm matching it. So neither even playing field, and I always think, um, I, you know, if I'm... If I'm if I'm playing five at the back against another five at the back, I hopefully come up, um, hopefully come up with a win. That's just the way I look at it. Purely because if they are automatically at five at the back from the get go, I know they know they're not a good player defensively anyway. Because why would you start five at the back if you're not comfortable in defending? Um, anyway, next opponent that guy uh, backed out. Um, Rue Costa up front, Ronaldo, Nani as a left forward, as a right forward, uh, Pogba, Benzema, Inform Kante. Pretty strong team. I think he actually paused it and switched um, Rui Costa in game to like a camp position or something in formation. But we didn't get anything until the 60th minute. A nice scoop turn there by Neymar, Tubiera, a nice ball roll there. That was fantastic. And um, smash it into the corner to make the 1 0 lead. But yeah, pretty dull uh, game to be honest overall. Nothing really happening, but we have a nice little shot there by George Best outside the, outside the box. And uh, we actually get a two-goal lead and uh, it's pretty much game over then. But not until Neymar, as I say. Uh, 90th minute, nice little set piece from a free kick. And uh, we finish it off to make it 3 now We had 13 shots, 10 on target. He had two, zero on target. He didn't create anything. Um, but we just didn't take our chances. And we played another five at the back. Um, he has Darmian left wing back. I think he's been watching a bit, uh, bit too much Man United games, to be honest. Uh, Chiellini, Inform Bonucci, and Movember Barzagli in the defensive department. So, yeah, two minutes in. Our bronze players link up. Um, I think it was Bogan Et Etinoff. Gets a bit lucky. Falls to Ronaldo. And, um, yeah, Ronaldo's not missing from that angle, that's for sure. So, take the 1 0 lead. This guy pauses it and, um, yeah, backs out. Interesting one. I'm not so sure um, I would have done the same. But as you can see in there, I did, in fact, switch to fight the back. But going into our um, seventh game, I believe, um, it comes up against Sturridge, Maratta, Inform, Isco. Uh, is that Camacho, I think, that Ma uh, Madiga player, I think? Um, but not the strongest of teams. So I was looking to capitalise on that with our, you know, Hullets and stuff. But a nice little uh, shield there by Griezmann. Taps it into the corner, and um, yeah, we take the 1-0 lead there. Pretty um, pretty standard. And then 19th minute, though, my opponent goes down the other half and equalises it. And we get a penalty. Straight, well, not straight after, about 10 minutes after. We go down the other end, and we actually do get a penalty. So, 
I don't really have a set plan for penalties. Like, I don't always go left, I don't always go right, or always go down the middle. I don't know. I just kind of, kind of guess, really, and hope for the best. But, um, yeah, 2-1, Ronaldo steps up and we uh, score the penalty. I have to take him with uh, Ronaldo. You can't really not do, uh, can you? So, 2-1, 35th minute, um, straight from kickoff, though, we're attacking him. Best agrees, went back to best, and then best is running down the left-hand side, and... Does a backwards body feint, does the defender, and it's happening there for Griezmann, I believe it was. And then just before the half-time whistle, we're playing RBY over the top to Ronaldo. Ronaldo does a verbal spin, through ball into Hullet, and uh, Hullet just taps it in, well, smashes it in, actually, into the top corner, and 4-1 uh, heading into half-time. But we get another chance, through ball to Griezmann, left foot, left side, cross-keeper, and uh, we actually go into half-time with a 5-1 lead. So, yeah, game over. At this point, nothing really you can do about it. But we get a sixth goal. And, um, yeah, straight from a corner, we actually thought, oh, we're going to whip this in. Why not? And we actually scored directly from the uh, the header. So that was uh, interesting. I don't normally cross my uh, corners in after the patch because they just don't work, really, do they? They just don't work whatsoever. But this is the last game. And look who we come up against. As you can tell by the title, we come up against Pele. I had to record it. just wanted to, uh, not record it, sorry, take a screenshot. I was curious, um, you know, just to look back on it after. But I don't know why... He has Pele and, like, not the best of teams around him. I even messaged him after, like, he said, uh, good game, and I said, good game. I said to him, you should just sell Pele, get, like, five, five and a half million coins, and get, like, a really, really good team. But he just has Pele, and I, I just knew he was going to pass to him all the time because that's his main star. And I always said, like, don't have one main star in your team because you and your opponent's just going to know you're going to be passing to that same player time and time again. And it's just going to be easy to read. But yeah, it didn't really cause me any problems, uh, Pele himself. Nothing um, nothing major, but nice little play there by myself. Get, get free goal lead and it's game over, really. Um, but yeah, it was always nice to beat Pele. Um, you don't really come up against off, uh, come up against him often, do we? Um, I don't know. I don't personally. But yeah, it was good to play him. I'm probably going to buy him, actually, in the near future. Probably be rubbish, though. And I'll probably end up selling him and uh, sticking with Griezmann. But yeah. 5-0 it finishes, um, rebound, Neymar smashes it in, and yeah, 15 shots, 11 on target to 6 shots, 2 on target, 5-0, we finish on 39-1, we actually do finish 5th in the leaderboard guys, um, no one actually got 40 no, which is actually um, basically down to the gameplay I'd imagine, um, I think that's proved to be honest if anything, uh, if the gameplay was fine, you know, one person would have definitely got 40, but yeah, no one actually got 40, which is a... Uh, surprising but yeah we finish on 39 one we finished fifth in the leaderboard so you can expect the uh, four 100k packs and the ultimate team of the week pack on thursday so uh yeah look forward to that but until next time guys that is gonna be it for the video thank you for watching as always make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment in the comment section below but until next time guys bye bye